With Magma's text tool, you will be able to easily add text to your canvases for various uses. It will be quite familiar to those who have used text in other applications, but for those who may be new to this tool, let's take a look at how it works. Adding text is as easy as selecting the function from your toolbar or using the hotkey T and then clicking and dragging on your canvas to create a text box of your preferred size. You can also tap once on the canvas and adjust the width and height of your box later. Once you add a text box, you'll be able to resize it using the anchor points or white boxes in the corners or along the sides of the box. If you have difficulty pinpointing these boxes, click just outward of the box and then drag to adjust. To move your text box, bring the cursor outside of it. On computer or a device that recognizes hover, you'll notice the cursor change indicating that a click and drag action will move the box. You could instead switch to the move tool in your toolbar to the left. To add text to your box, either type directly in it or copy and paste over from your clipboard using Ctrl V or Command V to paste it. Pasted text may not match the font and other characteristics from its source. When you want to edit text, make sure that the layer is selected in the layers panel first and that you have the text tool active. Then click and drag over the text that you want to change. When it comes to text settings, there's a fair amount that you can adjust. Font family is where you'll find various fonts for your text. If you don't quite find what you're looking for, you can scroll to the bottom of the drop down to request a font. Font style gives you the option of regular, bold, italic, and bold italic text. Here you can adjust the size, making it bigger or smaller, either by selecting a preset size or by inputting your own value. Line height adjusts the spacing available for each line of text. Leaving this set to auto will keep the recommended spacing based on the size of the text. Letter spacing adjusts the space between the characters. Baseline shift will shift the placement of the text relative to the bottom of the line. Then here we have text styling buttons for bold, italic, underline and strike through. Alignment will set your text alignment either to the left, center, right or justify. You can use justify in a more detailed way by opening the advanced options. Text box width will adjust the size behavior of your box. This can be auto width, auto height or fixed size. Under more options you can tweak the justify settings. This will adjust the spacing to match your text box width and then align accordingly. Vertical alignment will set the text to align with the bottom, center or top of your text box. These sliders will let you scale your text horizontally and vertically. And lastly, here you can set the case for your text, either to upper, lower or title text. When you're done with your text and you're ready to rasterize it, right click on the text layer in your layers panel and select rasterize. When you try to use a drawing tool, when you have a text layer selected, a window will pop up asking you if you want to rasterize your layer. Remember that when you rasterize a text layer, you won't be able to use the text tool to edit it any further.